We had set up multiple defense lines, but they broke through each with alarming speed. <gasps> the beasts roared, and their claws and talons ripped through steel and flesh alike. Yet we stood firm, with bolter and blade. If it had not been for Tiberos and his Carcharodons, the entire... Does he always sound like this? Lost. Yes, he does. But the true challenge arose when not one, but two swarm lords broke through our front lines. Those foul monstrosities. They struck with precision, and each swing they unleashed killed Astartes like they were wheat in a field. Huh. Skill issue. Realizing the potential devastation if they were left unchecked, I naturally took it upon myself to confront them. With the Watcher's axe in my unyielding grip, I charged headlong into the two behemoths. Our battle was fierce and was destined to echo through the cosmos as a bout of destiny. Their blades clashed against my armor, each blow sending shockwaves through the very earth. But the Emperor's light shone brightly within me. With all my strength, I brought the Watcher's axe around, Patrick Swayze Roadhouse style, into one's chest, watching its ichor flood out from its gaping wound like Gushers candy. Wait a fucking minute, we have Gushers candy? Shh, let him finish, Lionel. But the second Swarm Lord was upon me in an instant. We danced a waltz of war, but in the end, a swift change of the martial kata allowed me to decapitate the beast. Its body slumped to the ground, never to rise again. Your bravery is truly unmatched, Captain General. I can't tell if he's overpowered or if Lord Kalgar was underpowered. Who gives a shit? My fucking Primarch could kill five Swarm Lords by himself. Shut up. Perhaps I will see you on the battlefield soon, Great Lion. I'm sure me and my Wardens can help you get back into maximum condition. What the fuck did he just say to me? Oh, snap. Lionel, I'm sure he meant nothing by it. Fuck his ass up, Dad. I am merely offering a hand, son of the forest. I'm sure inhaling cindering herbs and drinking the nectar of saints are fine recreational pastimes. But they cannot replace a warrior's vigor. I'm packing more vigor in my left nut than the entirety of your banana guard's armory. He decapitated fucking Angron with the fucking Emperor's shield. Exactly my point, little one. You bested one of your traitor brothers. A feat only savored for the best of warriors. All that I'm asking is that you not let that fire go to waste. I can assure you, Captain General. My brother is more of a threat to our enemies than ever before. Don't let the creases in man bun fool you, Sunshine Bear. I'm still the original slayer of monsters and tyrants. The firstborn son of the Emperor of Mankind. The greatest duelist this Imperium's ever fucking seen. And if I want to spend my free time clapping Celestine's cheeks or smoking on some Chigorian Zaza, then I'll damn well do it. But you best remember that when the chips are down and one of my psycho Power Ranger brothers starts tossing your salad, you better pray that I come walking out of my forest to save you and your banana nut boys. <laughs> so, there's still burning embers in that chamber. Perhaps we'll see more of that vigor against the Hive Fleet. Gilliman, good to see you, as always. Same goes for you, Sergeant Varen. And a pleasure to meet you. I want to say, huh, Ezekiel? His name is Asmodai. It's Ezekah. Well, I must take my leave. The High Lords are meeting, and I want to keep them honest today. That's a grueling campaign in its own right. How right you are, Lord Regent. How right you are. I fucking hate that guy. He's not that bad.